All right, so iOS 14 is just about to be released and there's a bunch of new features, one of which we haven't really heard a lot about, and that's app clips. I'm gonna be taking you through a demo of some app clips that are coming to iOS. Let's get into it. All right, so for those of you who don't know, app clips are essentially just a limited version of an app, very small, about 10 megabytes, and they actually make perfect sense. So say you wanted to buy a coffee from Starbucks, but it's not something that you're doing consistently over time. You don't need to download the app and have that forever, but you just want to use the app once for a specific purpose. That's where app clips come in. So I actually got beta access to a couple of apps that are offering app clips primarily for testing purposes, so they're certainly not the final version, but they give us a pretty good idea of what to expect from third parties when these do come out with iOS next week. So typically how it's gonna work is you would tap your phone on a little NFC tag or you'd scan a QR code and that would activate an app clip. Now for these purposes, since I don't have a QR code or NFC tags to write all of this to, I'm just gonna be showing you the beta and opening it manually through test flight. But enough explanation, let's get into these app clips. So the first one we've got is called Unwind. It's a relaxation and meditation app. It takes you through a couple of breathing exercises, kind of like the Breathe app if you're familiar with Apple Watch. And they've got three different app clips. All right, so the first one we have here is Relax and Unwind. You can see here it says, improve your performance and concentration with this breathing exercise. You'll end up feeling relaxed and more focused. You then get an option to change the duration of how long you want to relax for. And then once you have that, you just hit play. Breathe. And you can see here that now we're going to be guided through breathing in and breathing out. Hold. Breathe out. If I go ahead and stop this, it tells you your session is finished, and then it prompts you to get the full app to save your progress and things like that. Next we have Sleep Better. You can see it's a very similar app. It functions the same way, it's just with a different purpose. And lastly, we have Start Fresh. This is the third app clip, and again, it's just another guided breathing exercise. So next we have Parcel. This is a package tracking app, just like it sounds like. It's already available on the App Store, and app clips, of course, are coming to iOS 14. So here we have an app clip that allows you to track a package without fully downloading the app. I definitely see this as a realistic use of an app clip. It'll show you all of your tracking details. And if you scroll down, you're even getting a map to follow along the entire route. I was really surprised actually to not see any sort of CTA or any prompt to download the full app afterward. But of course this is a beta, maybe that's something that's coming a little bit later on when it is actually released to the general public. So next we have Cheap Flights. And just like it sounds, it aggregates cheap flights across the web and compiles it into one easy place for you to view. Now, if you're not somebody who's traveling frequently, it wouldn't really make sense to download the app and use it all the time. You'd probably forget it's installed on your phone. It would just be sitting there taking up space. So that's where the app clip comes in. If you're trying to search for a flight, you can use this app clip to find your flight without actually having to install anything. So you can see when we open up the app clip, it gives you an overview of some of the current details and if you click through, you can see that they link out to the direct site where it's actually sourcing from. I'm surprised that again, I haven't found a clear button or invite to download the full app. But again, I think this could be a very practical use to find a flight without needing to download an entire app. So next we have Waterminder, and this is an app that logs your water intake throughout the day. I was a little bit confused by this one because as you can see, you open the app clip and you're able to track your water. However, this doesn't really lend itself to the type of thing that an app clip is trying to accomplish which is using it for a specific feature in that moment. This is more of an app where you'd want to download the full experience because then you would get a log of your water intake over the past little while. And it also doesn't ask you any stats like your weight, your height, your gender, anything like that to give you a realistic goal of how much water to drink. So it seems very limited. Of course, I'm assuming this is just a beta and they're working out the kinks. Maybe they're just testing it for the types of practical uses where they could fit Waterminder into an app clip. So overall, I think app clips are really gonna be an interesting feature to use with iOS 14. I think they solve a really crucial problem with people downloading so many apps these days. I think they could really be a game changer for say, going to a restaurant and paying for a meal without having to pull out a credit card and without having to download a custom app. Say you have an NSC tag right at the table and people can just use the app clip to pay right there. There's gonna be a lot of different use cases that people are using. And it's really up to the developer to determine what the most effective way that is. Throughout all of this, I'm definitely bracing myself because I know that some developers are going to use this in a really great way and really hit it off. And others are definitely going to use this as a form of advertisement just to get you to try out their app as a trial basis. I mean, either way, I'm excited to see how app clips are adopted throughout iOS 14. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are app clips something that you think you're gonna be using often? Are you really excited about this feature? Or do you just think that 
you could download the app anyway, so why does it matter? Let me know all of that down below. As well, hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that this video is actually worth watching. As always, hit that subscribe button to see more from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.